Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I'm a naturalist at Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. And this week's animal feature goes to the black cap chickadee. So let's take a closer look and learn a little bit more about our friend, the black cap chickadee. Take a look at the black cap on its head where the black cap chickadees get their name. Notice the white cheeks, gray back, wings and tail, and whitish color on the belly. All these are characteristics of identifying a black cap chickadee. Black cap chickadees can be found all year round near deciduous or mixed deciduous evergreen forests and on the edge of wooded areas. They like to nest in cavities and snags of trees, often in alder or birch. Black cap chickadees move quick, frequently bouncing from one branch to another, and they're curious birds, making them one of the most common seen at a bird feeder. When a chickadee calls, it sounds like they're saying their name. Chickadees like this one hide seeds for food later. A chickadee can remember thousands of hiding places. Pretty interesting birds, right? Now, if you're looking for a project that blends together nature and science while learning more about chickadees and other birds, why don't you consider doing a citizen science project? Let me tell you a little bit more. One citizen science project out there is eBird. This is an app you can take out in the field with you, submitting bird sightings as you go. It's also a platform to stay connected to other birders in your area and what birds they're seeing. Another project you can do at your home is Project Feeder Watch. Set up a bird feeder and sit back to see who visits. Feeder Watch also has great information on what kind of feeder and food to use, along with facts about the birds you see. Thanks for joining me today to learn a little bit more about the black cap chickadee. And if you'd like, look into citizen science projects about birds. Not only are you helping to inform research and conservation, but you also get to learn and enjoy more of the birds in our area. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more, visit our website at baltimorewoods.org or follow us on social media. Thank you and we'll see you next time. Bye.